YouTubers, Gabe here with Review Dork, and no, this isn't Hocus Pocus here, and no, I'm not doing a review on Asphalt 8, even though I should, and even though I could now that I'm able to record my Android screen without it being connected to a computer. And I'm going to show you how I do that with a cool app that's totally free called AZ Recorder, coming right up after the break. All right guys, uh, so as I promised, the name of this app is AZ Screen Recorder. You can find it in Google Play. It's an absolutely free app. You're not paying for extra cables or uh, any of that sort to tether your phone to your computer so that you could actually record your screen. Uh, this is an amazing solution. Formerly, the only way to record your screen was installing Android SDK to your laptop and then plugging your phone via USB to your laptop. So this solution is absolutely amazing and it's absolutely free and you get tons of features. And as you can see, I already have it installed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the app and then show you the settings and some of the cool things you could do with it. All right guys, so we are now inside the AC screen recorder and we're gonna look at the varying options. As you can see there, you can choose encoder. You could use the magic button. You could uh, check the controller type. And as you could see, I can stop the recording right there. I just drop down the screen and hit the stop button, which is pretty cool. So uh, as we scroll down, we can look at resolution. As you can see, I have my current resolution type set to 1080. So yes, I'm recording in HD and you can go as high as 4K. I'm recording on a Galaxy S7, so I can do that. I also am recording at 60 frames per second. And uh, you could see bitrate set to auto, orientation auto, uh, record audio. Now that's coming right from the microphone in my headset jack. So that is the mic, that is the audio you are hearing uh, from the AZ screen recorder. And um, let's go ahead and look at the files here. With the files, you see, I, I already have them preloaded. And some of the cool things you could do is go right to the share button. As you can see there, and share straight to YouTube. And uh, that is a great feature. So you've gone ahead, you've recorded your gameplay, and now you could simply share to, to YouTube. And um, you don't have to be tethered to your PC. You do not need an Android SDK installed on your computer. Um, you don't need to connect via SD, uh, excuse me, USB, or, or any of that sort. It's all there, readily available to you, so you can go ahead and play your game, create commentary, and upload it right to YouTube. Well guys, this is Gabe with Review Dork. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial slash review. The Easy Screen Recorder has literally made my job so much easier. I cannot wait to go ahead and record my video gameplay, particularly Super Mario Run when it comes out on Android in 2017. Well guys, this is Gabe with Review Dork. If you uh, enjoyed this video, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Peace!